A few sharp uh, rise in the earthquakes localized uh, 2.1 kilometer north of the Grindavik is very interesting. These earthquakes are happening at a depth of 6 uh, or 7 to 5 kilometers. And we can actually see that, I marked them here for you, we can actually see them rising uh, and falling. These are the earthquakes which are tectonic in the origin. And these are created by the earthquakes cracking and uh, uh, probably due to the extension, you can see that localized here, and then opening up the way for water where fluid may come up. This is the way uh, I interpret this. This is the uh, latest data, rising of the earthquakes, then we have a fall back, then another rise, you can see that, then another fall back. And uh, this is interesting, then we have another rise. I'll play them uh, fast for you so you can see that. This is the cracks opening up, going up, coming down, going up, coming down, as if just uh, making sure the uh, cracks are open. When you look at the 3D model, that's very interesting. You can see that here, the depth are in very interesting. They're localized north of the Grindavik as you can see between Grindavik and Blue Lagoon. So it's more uh, toward where is the Sonuka crater uh, chain and probably K1. K1 is the uh, volcano which erupted and formed by the eruption in the May to the June uh, two eruptions. Micro seismic activity we had previously actually is like shaking of a ketchup. Uh, magma is a non-Newtonian fluid, so it actually makes it fluid to run. And these ones that we have are not tectonic earthquakes. They are opening up a pathway for the dike of the magma to rise to the surface. These are localized and they are not over the Sorsengi. They are under this uh, uh, practical Sundunka crater chain where the uh, previous eruptions happened. We see the slowing down of the uplift of the land. That means the flow of the magma inside and outside is now happening. We have not recorded yet the change of pressure, but the data any moment may come and say that. We have two scenarios, uh, possible scenarios. One eruption may be happening to the, uh, as it was in the May-June, in the uh, Slingerfell to Hagerfell area. The second one was within the Grindavik eruption or flow of the magma. Now with this data that I have at this moment, it seems that we are going for the first scenario and that is the north of the Grindavik uh, in the Sunuka crater chain where the K1 crater already has erupted. And to me that is the more likely location of the new eruption which is coming within the 10 days.